Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. Today we're wrapping up uh, another look at a passage in the book of Acts as we move through the season of Easter. And today I just want to repeat uh, the last verse in this passage, which is, And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. Um, you know, when I think of the twelve apostles, those early uh, followers of Jesus, um, I think about how in the Catholic Church of my upbringing, there were uh, portraits of those 12 uh, in the sanctuary, and they all had halos around them. They were all considered saints of the church. And so when I think of a, of a gathering of these 12 apostles, um, it, I think of it as a very sort of sacred and divine uh, gathering of people. In our uh, church community, in most church communities, uh, I would say I don't often think the same about the gatherings of people when we when we get together in committee meetings or uh, to plan church dinners or to 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 uh, hold the rummage sale. I'm not sure that I would uh, often consider those to be divine uh, gatherings of people. And I remember a friend of mine uh, years ago uh, telling me a story about her church. They had come up with. Um, a mission statement for their church, and they decided that they would go through all of the activities, uh, all, all the life of their church together, and and make sure that everything they were doing sort of aligned with the mission statement of their church. And if something didn't, uh, they just simply stopped doing it. And they wanted to make sure that everything they did, all of their life together, sort of aligned with what they considered to be their mission statement. And so I, I mentioned that because I think that uh, as we consider these questions this week of, of what the church should be doing, um, why the church gathers, and, and, and how the church uh, uh, is community together, uh, I, I think that if we, as a community, if we, uh, if we align ourselves with the answers to those questions, if what we're doing is bearing witness to the risen Christ, if we remember that why we come together is for something greater than ourselves. And at the how it is that we're together in community is, is trusting and discerning and being guided by, by God. Uh, then, uh, as one scholar suggests, absolutely every gathering of people coming together, whether it's a Bible study or a church dinner, whether it's a rummage sale or a worship service uh, can be akin to the upper room where the Holy Spirit fell upon the believers. And every gathering of believers can be a sacred and divine gathering. Amen.